How can Echoes be silent? Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Show. My name is Soul and I'll be your host for this review. Today we are reviewing The Weeknd's Echoes of Silence. I have been waiting for this one. Yay. So The Weeknd. I've already reviewed two of The Weeknd's projects, House of Balloon Thursday. Already reviewed those so if you want my impressions on his music or just want to know more about his music and just who he is and yada yada yada, watch those. It's kind of, it's kind of, you know, chronologically so... Watch those before you watch these. You don't have to, whatever. So The Weeknd, just to reiterate, The Weeknd, he put out three mixtapes in one year. So you think, like, artists who do this, by the third one, they're definitely just gonna spit out that last mixtape. You know, just throw it out there. Um, nope, not in this case. This project is possibly his best mixtape. Possibly his best project, even. In this mixtape, he has a completely different style to anything he's done before or since. And he does show a lot of his Michael Jackson influences here more than ever. And yeah, the Michael Jackson influences, they've been all over his discography before. You could even say The Weeknd is trying to be this almost like really dark, like intensely sexual, drug-filled version of Michael Jackson. But... Here, more than ever, he's showing these influences because he's even covering Michael Jackson's Dirty Diana. And he uses this cover to start off the mixtape. For those who don't know, Dirty Diana was one of Michael Jackson's many hit songs. This one was about a groupie. A Michael Jackson song about groupies. Yeah, that seems right up the weekend's league. But coming back to the new styles, The Weeknd, he's doing something really different compared to his other stuff and I really like it. The days of him just kinda in the background singing, those are completely dead here. He is the driving force for every song, and for the most part, he's just killing it. On the track initiation, The Weeknd is doing a lot of pitch changes. For instance, his voice will go like really fast and like really high pitched, but then he'll his voice will get really low and it's still just going at this really rapid fire pace. And it's all over this really powerful instrumental. This pitch change is supposed to represent the weekend going from uppers and downers and all these other sorts of drugs. And I, I like this style. I have a thing for, you know, just audio changes and stuff like that. So I really like this track. Speaking of initiation, what was that track about? Like, hold on, let me let me see here. Um, it, it was about the weekend. Um, what, what is he doing? He's having sexual relations with this girl and he might also be with a number of his friends who are also having sexual relations with this girl. It might be about gang banging a chick. What a cheerful melody! Speaking of lyrical content, The Weeknd to me at least has always been this kind of mixed bag. He's definitely not as sad in this mixtape, thankfully. He's still viewing himself as a sort of sexual god. And I only have a problem with that if the style and the certain lyrics are like making me not like that. But I think with this style, with these lyrics, I don't have a problem with it. Songs like Next, Same Old Song, uh, The Fall, Montreal, I love all these songs and the lyrics don't bother me at all. And in fact, I think the concepts and lyrics, if anything, make me like, like these songs even more. And in short, yeah, I do love this project, but it has its flaws. And most of them come in the title track, Echoes of Silence. I just found it a really boring and underwhelming way to end the mixtape. And unless I have to listen to all of this mixtape again, I really don't think I'm going to be coming back to this song at all. But in the end, out of the three mixtapes The Weeknd dropped that year, Echoes of Silence really outclasses the other two by a pretty good amount, and I think Abel, he really brings a very unique and very enjoyable style. And he even makes a couple lines about going sober and maybe cutting down on sex so much. And no, 
I don't think this character is gonna get off of drugs anytime soon. But at least he's trying, right? And with that, I give The Weeknd's Echoes of Silence a 4 out of 5. And the soul badge of approval. Guys, before you go, I want you to check out this video where I reviewed in depth every track from this mixtape. With that being said, I want to know your thoughts down below. Please subscribe. Come over here and write it out. And with that, I leave you.